Hey everyone, welcome back to another Serpents 3 introductory video. In this video, we're going to be covering the icon node and display icons. An icon node is what you can use to put on your UI elements to give them icons. You can have built in Blender icons where you can pick from a preloaded list of icons that are provided with Blender. You can also provide image items and it will create an icon from the image. You can also go to a path and load in an image or an icon. Now icons are, um, they come square. So if you have something that's unsquare, it will still scale the image to make it fill a square space. Let's go ahead and take a look at icons in action. So I've got a panel here. And on the header section, I've loaded in my Blanche SB icon. And inside the panel, I have a couple other icons as well. Now, standard icons don't scale, but there is a node called Display Icon, and there were a lot of users who were requesting the ability to scale their icons, and so the Display Icon node allows you to do that. Just be aware that using this node does slow down the UI, and as you can tell, it's reloading my icons uh, because I'm scaling this one. Now, lots of nodes have the ability to use icons, and some nodes come with them built in. So buttons, you don't need an icon node, but you still can attach the data if you'd like. Um, buttons come with a built-in Blender icon that you can go and pick icons from. Well, let's say you want an external icon from a path or an image. You can still tie in the icon data to your buttons or to labels or other UI items that have an icon socket. And that's about it for icons. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we will catch you on the next one.